Hi folks, so this is a Leisler bat. This is actually the largest bat species we have in Northern Ireland. Um, and this little chap was found on the 10th of March in the snow, um, lying behind the wheel of a car and some kids found him and managed to rescue him and got him, got him into the worm. And um, when we picked him up, he was very, very cold, understandably, after lying in the snow. It's not a great place for a bat to be. Um, they're so small, you know, the slightest temperature changes can affect them quite drastically. So this guy was very, very lucky. Um, uh, we got him warmed up and amazingly, just the, the difference it made, just having that bit of heat, he really came to life. He was squeaking and shouting and... You know, showing his teeth and warning us off to stay away from him. So I got him back. Um, we actually turned this to just one of the little bird nests. You know, look, we get knitted for us for the baby birds. And turned it up on its end, made a little mini bat cave for him. Um, which he absolutely loves. So he's hanging in there at the minute. And he's finally decided that mealworms are quite tasty. Um, he spent the last couple of days sort of refusing them. But I'm really glad to say, as you can see now, <laughs> he's loving them. I'm going to zoom in a bit. You might actually be able to hear him crunching on these. You can just about see where his eyes are. Just below his ears there. They've got the tiniest little eyes. Little beady black eyes. And they are not blind. Regardless of all those little myths and the little sayings as blind as a bat. Um, they can see, but their hearing obviously is phenomenal, and they use that echolocation to find their food at night in the dark. And you can see his body is all covered in fur. And these actually are not technically wings, they actually fly with their hands. And in between all what would be the finger bones is that fine skin. Um, luckily, this wee guy hasn't suffered any injuries. I think that looks to say give me another mealworm. <laughs> so we'll give him another one here. And uh, you can't eat the can't eat that. No, this this is what you eat. There. Nope, he missed. No, that's such your net. Here, there we go. <laughs> so um we don't actually keep bats for prolonged periods here. Um we pass all the bats through the Northern Island Bat Group, um, so they can do all the extra care. Uh, the main reason we haven't released him is because of the snow and because it is so cold outside and it's raining at the moment, um, which isn't a really good combination for bats. So um, this week, guy's probably going to stay with one of the bat rehabilitators, friend of ours there, for a couple of days, just until the risk of the snow's passed and all being well, we'll be able to get him back to his territory next week, which would be fantastic because I'm sure there's lots of girls out there in his territory that he needs to keep an eye on. <laughs> So there's the last little bit of footage of him finishing off his mealworms. Hi, I'm Nathan from uh, Northern Island Bat Group and I'm just collecting the little bat that Debbie has uh, rescued. So this little guy is going to be kept in for a while, feed him up on some mealworms and hopefully he'll be rehabilitated and released back where he came from. Awesome. Thank you so much Nathan for taking him. It's, no uh, it's nice to always work with more groups in Northern Ireland and help each other out, which is fantastic. So as I said, I don't keep them prolonged, um, so we pass them on to all the licensed bat rehabbers. So thank you so much Nathan for taking him. That's great. No Appreciate problem. it. Thanks for meeting us. <laughs>